OCD is a very dehabilitating disease, and millions of people suffer from it. Often they have very few options, and, and often patients don't really recognize the, the disease itself. Um, they know that there's something wrong with them and that they may be different, um, but there's very little outlet for that in terms of where to go. There, we hear a lot about depression, we hear a lot about schizophrenia, other health, me mental health diseases, we hear a lot about drug addiction, but we hear very little about OCD, and yet um, this is a remarkably uh, difficult disease, and many pa patients suffer enormously uh, from this. So in everyday life, um, all of us are continually evaluating our environment and our actions based on rewarding and risking behaviors. So for example, you are hungry and you want to go out and have something to eat. You decide on a pizza, it's a kind of reward, you're hungry. And the risks are you're going to take a time off from work, you're going to walk across the street, take a risk, etc., etc. And we're balancing those things all the time. Um, more risky behaviors include things um, such as um, driving particularly fast, uh, experimenting with drugs, gambling, all of which uh, have obvious rewards and risks associated with them. On the other side of the continuum, you find people who uh, are so worried about being um, avoiding risk that they no longer are able to partic participate in the positive things in life and often become quite homebound because they're not really able to venture out into the world. Uh, because they are so risk aversive. And this is, of course, one of the key features to um, many people that have obsessive compulsive disorder. We'll also be imaging patients to understand what areas of the brain are being affected by the deep brain stimulation. And those images will then be correlated with what we know about the circuitry of uh, the underlying structures. And what you're looking at now in color are the pathways that are associated with the reward risk system so that you can have a sense of where the electrodes are, are targeting and what pathways they may be interrupting. Each of the colors represents a different cortical subcortical pathway. It's really imperative that we not only understand these patients better, but really move forward in trying to help them uh, get better therapies out there. And we'll learn much more about not only the disease, but these very important uh, areas of the brain that mediate many different functions. These patients really present an enormous opportunity to science, just as we are hoping to help them with better therapies and to develop different strategies for treating their disease. They are helping us understand specific regions of the brain, knowing the pathways that are being affected by the stimulators. We've actually moved the stimulators to a new target, and that's been more effective. So in summary, we've selected people that both work together but are uh, experts in the key areas that we feel will really move the field forward in understanding DBS, understanding DBS for OCD, and giving us insight into the pathophysiology of OCD itself.